Someday, in the not so distant future, it happens. The moment you realize you're ready for anything. Get a degree in emergency management from Jacksonville State University and be ready for where you're going. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday, the 26th of November. What a miserable day. Cold, soaking rain. And uh, tonight, yes, the rain will likely change to light snow for a brief time. Cold weather tomorrow. Big, messy East Coast storm for pre-Thanksgiving tomorrow. Uh, and then we go dry and cold on Thanksgiving Day. But let's get in there and take a look. A lot of questions for travelers. Folks are trying to go places. We'll see if we can answer those. Uh, we'll start with the big picture this morning, and that's a classic messy look, large-scale upper trough approaching from the west. You can see the mess over the eastern U.S., and of course, we've got very cold air in place, so for some folks, it will be a big snow of it to the northeast of here, and also note the convection firing down there in the eastern gulf. You know, this thing could bring some severe weather uh, to parts of Florida, maybe the far south Atlantic coast. Well, what you see is what you get. That's the uh, radar this morning, just after 5 o'clock. That was at 5.03, just a large mass of soaking rain over most of the state. That's messy looking. And boy, we are thankful that temperatures are above freezing. Can you imagine if it was like 28 or 29 and this rain was falling? This would be the ice storm of the century. But uh, as expected, we stayed above freezing all night. Uh, at daybreak, we've got the cold spots uh, Gadsden and Haleyville at 36, Birmingham at 38. And these numbers won't change much today. We'll probably go up three, maybe four or five degrees, and that's it, with clouds and rain all day. Around the nation, new surge of colder air dipping down into the northern states, and we're going to feel that tomorrow. Now, travelers, just take a look at that map. All right, if you're going somewhere uh, over the next 24 hours, the Obviously, the areas in purple and pink, that's the uh, problematic areas for wintry weather. Now, we do note that central Mississippi is under a flash flood watch, and the counties around Jackson are under flash flood warnings uh, this morning, but we don't expect any flooding problems here. Uh, up in Tennessee, that is a winter weather advisory from Nashville to Knoxville for, again, for the potential of a little snow in there tonight on the backside of this, what we're going to see. I don't think the travel will be all that bad, but clearly there could be some slick spots. So uh, if you'll be driving to Tennessee, be aware of that uh, late tonight or tomorrow morning. The really big snows are going to be farther northeast, parts of Ohio, western Pennsylvania, upstate New York. That's where the really big snows will come down. And for the major east coast cities, not snow, but rain and wind, uh, Washington, Philadelphia, New York City, Boston, expect airport delays. It's going to be a mess. So travelers beware. Now, this is the additional rain expected for the next five days. And, of course, all this is going to be uh, basically today and tonight. Additional rain amounts of one to two inches showing up there for northeast Alabama. Uh, already, we've got some two-inch totals in west Alabama. So we, we might see some folks getting four inches of rain from this thing. But clearly, most everybody's going to see between two and three. But what a soaker it's been. Now, this is the possibility of getting more than one inch of snow tonight. And you can see the probabilities actually extend down into, uh, you know, Mississippi and Louisiana. But those are very low possibilities where you see the, uh, the shades of, of green, darker green. That's getting up toward 30 to 40 percent. And we've got some of that over North Alabama. And again, this is the possibility of greater than one inch of snow. Now, this is the chance of greater than six inches of snow. So the really big numbers are going to be well to the northeast of here. But clearly, parts of North Alabama could see a little snow on the ground in the morning on the grassy areas. Let's get in there and take a look. This is the GFS, the Global Forecast System, the 06E run valid at noon today. And this is at 500 millibars. And you can see that upper low that's on the Middle Texas coast that'll be approaching, and that will provide maybe some dynamic cooling late tonight as well, in addition to the cold air advection. This is the surface pattern expected at noon today, and boy, what a what a mess. Surface low near 
Navarre Beach, Florida. 1,005 millibars. Of course, we're up in the cold air. Now, in the warm sector down there, there could be a few severe storms. In fact, that's the uh, convective outlook. You can see parts of North Florida with a risk of severe storms. Also, parts of the South Atlantic coast where a uh, warmer layer might push in from the Atlantic. So uh, that's one aspect of this. Of course, no severe weather here because it's cold. Now, let's go to midnight tonight. This is off the high res NAM, and where you see the shades of blue, that's where the rain should be changing to light snow. Now, uh, the good thing about it, the ground is obviously going to be very wet. A lot of this is just going to melt as it falls because of the wet ground. Um, but clearly, there could be one to two hours of light snow falling, and that might make the ground white in some spots. This is 3 o'clock tomorrow morning, and this is showing snow lingering over about the eastern half of the state. So you're going to sleep through this. I mean, most everybody will not even know this happened. Uh, because the main window for this light snow is going to be from about 11 o'clock tonight until 4 a.m. By 6 o'clock, it's all gone. It's out of here. All right, let's look at the uh, snow depth charts. For, first off, this is the buff kit. This is an analysis uh, program using model data. And there are a couple of outliers that, that ramp the snow. And this is for Birmingham, by the way. A couple of outliers kind of ramp the snow up to about an inch and a half. A couple of runs of the NAM. I don't think that happens in Birmingham. In fact, I'm not so sure we see any accumulation here. Uh, although many of the models do print about, you know, a trace to one half inch. And that would be a little dusting on the grass if we get that. So uh, let's look at the high-res NAM. And this is the uh, projected snow depth early tomorrow morning. Uh, and you can see that the better chance of getting the ground white would be over the northeastern corner of the state, especially up in Jackson County, Jackson and DeKalb counties. Those would be the, if you, if you want to be a better chance of getting some snow on the ground, that's the place to be. Scottsboro, Fort Payne, Mentone, places like that, uh, with potential for a dusting down toward uh, Birmingham, but just a dusting. This is the European snow depth tomorrow morning. Very similar. It prints one inch up around Scottsboro and Jackson County and in a dusting on down toward Coleman and Aniana and Anniston and nothing for Birmingham. This is the uh, snow depth off the uh, NAM and it's very similar. Northeast Alabama a dusting to maybe one half or one inch. The better chance of that one inch in the northeastern corner uh, and of course clearly the bigger snows are going to be northeast of here. Uh, as you go farther northeast, mountains of West Virginia, western Pennsylvania, upstate New York. So uh, will it cause any driving problems? I don't think so. If, if there's going to be driving problems, it's not going to be related to snow. It's going to be related to standing water. We'll go in the 20s tomorrow morning, and there could be some icy spots because of that, the, the black ice kind of thing. So uh, in the morning, early if you're traveling, we'll be in the upper 20s, below freezing, just be aware that any standing water will be icy, so take it easy on the bridges and overpasses. Um, this is the surface chart at noon tomorrow. And again, this is for those of you traveling. Of course, we're just windy and cold. It's going to be a cold day. We're not going to get out of the 30s tomorrow. The uh, GFS printing a high of 37, a north wind of 12 to 25. Uh, the wind chill index will be below freezing all day. And that, that red line, that's the freeze line you see there. And this is suggesting at noon tomorrow, they'll be below freezing from Cullman North with wind chills in the teens up there. But at midday, the surface low is at Long Island. And again, that is windy and rainy for the East Coast, uh, all the way from the Outer Banks of North Carolina up through the Tidewater New York City and Boston. And again, that's just going to really foul those airports up. I would not want to be traveling by air tomorrow, especially over the eastern half of the nation. You can see the snow back in the colder air over uh, western North Carolina and Virginia, up through West Virginia, West Pennsylvania, and west and upstate New York. So look out if you're traveling up through there. But again, just windy and cold here. All right, this is Thursday, Thanksgiving Day. Hey, we start the day around 20 teens for the colder places. It is going to be a very, very frigid Thanksgiving morning, but at least we warm up into the mid-40s and the sky will be bright and sunny and hardly any wind. 
the wind will be light and variable, so that'll take the edge off the cold air. This is Black Friday. Start the day down in the 20s. It'll be a cold start for you pre-dawn shoppers. Uh, but the sky will be sunny, and we go up in the low to mid-50s. It'll feel like a heat wave. Still below average, but we're moving in the right direction. This is Iron Bowl Saturday. Weather looks great. Sunny. Temperatures in Auburn probably mid, maybe upper 50s at kickoff. It doesn't get any better. Toward the fourth quarter, we'll drop back in the low 50s, but clear, absolutely no chance of rain. This is Sunday. We stay dry. Highs again will be in the uh, 50s. Monday, a little disturbance tries to squeeze out a touch of light rain over the northern part of the state. Doesn't look like a big deal. And this is Tuesday of next week, back in the upper levels. We've got ridging over the east, and that's going to uh, warm us up a little bit. By golly, we could see a low 60s with a uh, look like that. And we'll take that. All right, let's uh, go out there deeper. This is the 7th of December. This is a Saturday, and this is showing a cold front coming through with a good bit of rain. And the end of the forecast, ooh, goodness, December 12th. Now, this is pure voodoo speculation, but it's always fun to look for trends. First time I've seen this, a big trough coming in, very cold air coming in. Rain changing to light snow, very cold air coming down the pike. I mean, this is showing temperatures over parts of Minnesota and North Dakota in the, what, 30 to 40 degree below average rain. These are temperature anomalies, so uh, we'll just look for trends out there. But again, that might vanish on the next run. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 4 o'clock today. You can catch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream of the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless.